for a long time and finally I got the time to <coughs> make a video on that so it's me UI 8 on Android 1 so if you are wondering that how this one will perform as a daily driver or if the camera works or not if the data works or not and how to install it the main thing and how to get Google Apps and if these kind of questions are coming to your mind then let's answer these questions in this video shall we but if you are not new to the if you are new to this channel or if you are not new to this channel but don't care to remember who I am <laughs> let me introduce myself this is Jualita here and you are watching Freaks and Geeks and today in this video let's check out how to install MIUI 8 on any Android 1 device let's get started sorry for the lighting guys first of all because it's about 4.30 pm in the afternoon when I'm shooting this video after studying the entire day <laughs> just kidding guys uh, just was wasting my time whatever uh, the first thing that you want to do before installing MIUI 8 or Android 1 device is to change your recovery yes you heard me right if you have TWIP recovery perhaps this is the right time that you change it because I have been trying to install MIUI 8 with the help of TWIP recovery and it's giving me failed and failed and failed every time I try to install it so what I did was that I downloaded the Phil's Touch recovery from xdadevelopers.com the link will be in the description box below and flashed it with the help of Flashify. If you want a tutorial on that hit that subscribe button below and hit that like button and do let me know in the comment section if you want a tutorial on that too. So after you are completed installing Phil's Touch recovery and yeah, I will be trying to sh tell you also how you can do it with 3WRP if it works for you. So after that you what we want to do is. Uh, you want to switch off your device and press the power button and the volume up button together and this will boot your phone into fast boot mode and after successfully booting into fast boot mode as you can see let me show you uh, you just need to hit the upper button and select recovery and after selecting recovery this will boot into the custom recovery that you have flashed for me it's Phil's touch recovery or basically an advanced version of CWM recovery so as you can see this is Phil's touch recovery and after that you need to hit white and for wipe and format options and clean to install a new ROM and yes I'm not gonna do that because I already have MIUI 8 installed and if you are in TWRP recovery I'll suggest you take a backup and then hit wipe and select Dalvik cache cache system and data and swipe to wipe after you're done with that hit install zip and in TWRP recovery it will be installed after that choose the wherever you have saved the downloaded zip file and it will download it it will be in the description box below do check the links for the files and then select uh, wherever you have stored it for me it's in download as you can see the first thing this is and click on that and install whatever and then you can with the help of that you can also flash the pixel experience and I have for my case I have flashed it and after flashing no need to wipe cache and Dalvik just what you need to do is hit reboot system so I'll meet you on the other side of the video when it's completed rebooting okay see you on the other side many of you would be having the question that I flashed the ROM but I didn't flash open G apps or anything of that stuff let me tell you that this ROM does not come with uh, play store or play services pre-installed so I want to show you a trick by which you can get Google play services and Google play store on your MIUI that you recently flashed so basically you need to keep in mind that if you flash open gf 6.0 pico uh, there are chances that google play services will keep on crashing so what you need to do is after you are done setting up your device just uh, okay. you will see okay let me just reduce the brightness you will find uh, miui app store that is this one you just need to click on that and then uh, you need to go to the search bar and just search just hold on a sec guys okay why is the why the hell is the keyboard not coming up just search for um g o o l e google and hit search button oops so just go down the page and select this green icon click on this green icon and the very first app on your list should would be this the this app and you need to hit that app and this is basically the Google installer which will help to get your Google Play Store and the play services on your device I have already installed it just click install over here and just 
after it's completed installing just hit launch and here it will show you install then just click it and google play services and the play store will be installed on your device and after that what you need to do play store will not automatically work you need to go to the play store and after going into play store you need to go into just open it and you need to go into settings and just up and just update the version of the play store then you can you are ready to download it and so now talking about this rom i have been using this rom for about a week now and i must say that this is pretty stable for a daily driver because it's smooth and everything pretty much works let's look at the camera and let me show you that um, so as you can see it works and for modes and you got a well integrated manual mode as well let's go into settings one thing that i've noticed is that picture quality is set high but camera frame 16 is to 9 it just doesn't want to go into that it'll always shoot in 4 is to 3 ratio that is the viewfinder will be in 4 is to 3 ratio and after that what what should i show you let's go to settings and the good thing about this rom is that it's out of the box it's based on android 6.0 marshmallow so as you can see android 6.0.1 marshmallow so the latest miui we're getting out of the box so dual apps works pretty fine as you can see works pretty fine i have not set up any so second space also works let me show you second space as you can see turn on second space and stuff works pretty much theme support is baked in and this is the china rom as you know that theme store is there um so as you can see the keys are pretty much near to each other i don't know why why the developer did that i have no idea but it's better th than not having any navigation keys as well so let's just look at display and what all is there system font i've changed it pulse notification light x size okay and let's what else what else sound and vibration okay screen locking sound audio settings so this is what is the thing that it does not work so listening to music on this will not be a great experience because equalizer just doesn't want to open and so second of all after flashing this rom you just need to flash another zip file that will also be given in the description box below if you have if you want dual sim support on your device but i have a single sim so i am having no problem data does work out pretty fine and one weird thing i have noticed about this rom is that a few icons are I don't know why I suppose the clock is the icon is not there but the name is there but the app is also there so I don't know why this happens and this ROM is pretty smooth and for example calendar that also works as you can see I opened it for the first time weather works out pretty fine location access is there the thing I am very surprised with this ROM is that everything is working nothing is broken just you need to flash a separate zip for getting the dual sim feature calls do work let me just show you that I flash the I'm using the Google dialer so let me just show you uh, by placing a call. So let me just call this number and as you can see speaker. So as you can see calls are working so no doubt about that and so that's pretty much it guys this was mi ui 8 on any android one device you can install this rom and then this rom gets a thumbs up from me as a daily driver because you can definitely use it but one thing that i would like to mention for you guys to know that battery life is pretty much decent not bad and not very excellent as well because it will last you for about uh, six hours and 6 hours is too much with very light usage but if you are a very heavy user you will be screen on time will be about 2 hours something so that's pretty much it guys thank you for watching if you like this video do give this video a thumbs up constructive criticism is always welcome as you know subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because more coverage on the android one and i'll be trying to bring on the redmi note 3 as well U euphoria as well is coming and until next time stay a freak stay a geek this is joaditha here from freaks and geeks See you next time on my channel. Hope to see you next time.